talk about that. They're like, common sense ain't too common. <laughs> they say these things and they think they're so clever. Like they make these memes and they're like, gotcha. You made a meme. It's like the lowest, the lowest form of humor. And you're like patting yourself on the back. Okay. Now, I don't even think it's just memes that I hate. It's just like the culture that spawned memes. The fact that people are so simple minded that. And, and here's the thing though every once in a while, like nine times out of ten, memes are fucking stupid and terrible and um, indicative of like a totally simple-minded, dim-witted society that we live in. But every once in a while, like... That one out of ten memes that's just, like, fucking brilliant, you know? It's like, was it worth all the other ones? Was it worth the nine that were fucking terrible? Not really. Not really, but... You know, every once in a while, you'll you'll come across something or someone that, that makes it seem like it's all worth it, but it's really not. You know? I'm just trying to be optimistic here. But my hope will always be in God. My hope will never be in society, okay? And anybody that has hope in society is retarded, and they clearly don't read the Bible. Because... You know, the Psalms talk about how stupid everybody is. All the prophets talk about how stupid everybody is. Jesus yelled at his own disciples because of how stupid they were. So, you know, maybe people should just accept the fact that the world that they live in is trash and act accordingly. Now, you don't have to act autistic, okay? I don't agree with that. Whenever somebody says they're autistic, they're just saying, I'm an asshole, deal with it, okay? I'm a very kind-hearted person. I don't treat people the way that 
people usually assume I do. I mean, I'm, I'm a really nice person. I mean, I don't like to say the word nice because I, I don't think that we should strive to be nice. We should strive to be compassionate. We should strive to have empathy. Being nice, that's just surface level. That doesn't mean shit. I mean, I'm sure pedophiles are nice too. Country's fake, society's fake, economy's fake, you're so fake, he's so fake, she's so fake. I'm not fake though. That's why they hate me. <laughs> I cried in church the whole time. Well, I was late, so the whole time I was there, I cried and I cried and I cried and I cried. salvation I'm trying not to cry right now I, I realized I need to stop doing that I need to stop doing these videos where I'm crying because like somebody's gonna say I need to be on medication so just hold it in 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 it's like emotional diarrhea Wait until you get to the bathroom, okay? Or you can do like I do and just go take a shit in a bush. <laughs> just don't let anybody see you, okay? Because the second they see that tush, they're going to go. That person needs to be committed. All because you're doing something that's indicative of living, actual living. This whole society we're in ain't about living. And if there ain't about living, how in the motherfuck do you think they'd be about giving, 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 giving? That's why you can't expect that from humanity. You can only expect that from those that have God inside of them and know this. Schizophrenia, frenia, frenia, frenia. But at the same time, I would say that it's a legitimate reason why I can't fall in line, why I can't do what they want, why I can't do what they want. Why do they want me to do those things? They can't even answer the question. I know y'all heard these chords before, but I'm not sorry that I'm playing them once more because I like these chords. These chords feel serious. And I'm a silly ass because I'm crying in church more than I'm not crying in church. You know, I was actually just having this conversation with another uh, Orthodox lady, and um, we were talking about how, like, you don't have to go to church to have faith. Um, somebody else uh, uh, mentioned this uh, wayward aesthetic. We really like you, by the way. We really, uh, we've been watching your videos too. Um, but uh, yeah, you don't have to go. You don't have to go to church. In fact, most of the people that go to church, I'd say it's just for show. It's just for the surface, you know? Just look at me, look at me. I went to church. Well, that doesn't mean shit, honey. Like, unless you're living a life that is emulating Christ in, in the best way that you know how, okay? We all, we all, you know, uh, are going to fall short.
because we're human beings and we live in this shitty ass world. Okay. I mean, I swear all the time. I swear all the, I mean, obviously, um, but, you know, I'm trying to, like, not take the Lord's name in vain anymore. I think that I'm doing pretty well. Um, I'm sure those of you that have watched this channel have probably noticed that I don't uh, do that very much anymore. GD used to be my favorite curse word. And when I started reading the Psalms, I just subconsciously, like, stopped saying that. Um, and it's not like... It's not like I, I get offended by it. I hear that all the time because I work with a bunch of secular people and only one of them will start swearing up a storm and then like apologize to me for taking the Lord's name in vain. And I'm like, you know, it, it's cool. It's cool. I'm glad that you recognize that that's somewhat offensive, but I mean, I don't, I don't really think God gets offended by that stuff. I don't. It, he knows your heart. He knows that, that just because you say, God damn it, that doesn't mean that you're really damning him, okay? <laughs> He's not a woman, okay? God is not a woman. He doesn't take things out of context. He doesn't take it personally. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to make excuses for, like, you know, just swearing all the time because I know that, you know, using foul language, you know, that's in Colossians. Um, it's in Colossians, it's in uh, James, I believe. I mean, there, there, there are several uh, Bible verses that talk about, you know, watching our mouth and, and things that we say and, and stuff. So I, I, I get, like, why that's an issue. And, and that, that, that was a major disagreement I had with my priests, like, um, over, like, the use of language. And I was trying to explain to him that if, like, you can use coarse language to reach people, then he didn't agree with me on that. But I stand by that mainly because I'm a comedian. So, um, but I, 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 uh, agreed with him that, you know, it's, it's better to not swear because, um, you know, we should try to be as, as wholesome as possible. But at the same time, it's like, if you're thinking swear words, God knows it. <laughs> So just because you didn't say them all loud, like, doesn't mean that, like, you're all, you know, innocent. And I think that that's the issue that I have with so many religious people, and that's the issue that I have with Americans, and is that, you know, as long as people aren't making it obvious that they're doing things that are bad, then it's fine that they do things that are bad. You know, and you hear this so often with with church people that that gossip, church people that that cheat on their wives, or you know, engage in, um, you know, lewd sexual behavior or whatever. I mean, we all have things that we struggle with, okay? So. I'm not saying that you have to be perfect, but you have to know that, that you're sinning. You have to know, okay, that was wrong and I need to repent for that, you know? And if you understand where your salvation comes from, it, it's like people that, that want to make such a big deal about other people sinning, it's like, well, they're not on the same path as you, you know? And especially if they're not a Christian, like, why would you expect any different? Um, and I'm not... First of all, I'm sorry if it, it makes it seem like I I just think like, oh, the only way that you can be a good person is to be a Christian. I don't think that's true at all. In fact, I've met a lot of uh, atheists that act like they've read the Bible, which is interesting. Because those that, that call themselves Christians, you know, from, from the, the looks of you know the the way that they live, and you know the kind the kinds of ways that they talk talk about other people. They talk down to people. They belittle people and stuff. And you know that that's not very Christian. But at the same time, it's like I don't want to be too hard on them either because it's like they're on a different path than me. So it's like I'm always asking myself this question: like, are you are you acting this way? 
but like in another like a twi are you a twisted revision of the things that you complain about you know I mean like this you see this this is called freedom okay <laughs> but but no but I mean I think it's possible to have a smartphone and not be like totally dependent on it I just think that that it's very very hard very hard and, um, I mean, I get this way with my laptop, dude. Like, with my laptop, it's so tempting for me to just watch really depressing YouTube videos. And just read conspiratorial articles that make me want to kill myself. Um, it's, it's really tempting to do that. But that'll just lead me down a path of despair, and I really don't want to be like that. And it's not just that. I've been wanting to talk about this, like, how dangerous YouTube is and how dangerous... You know, that's why I'm not on a social network, because it's it's way too easy to get sucked into drama. And unfortunately, most of the people that use these networks are not... Well, I shouldn't say that. I would say that most of the people that are the loudest, that are making the most trouble on social networks, are people that, you know, I think that they're, you know, narcissistic sociopaths. Um, I think that they have, like, severe... You know emotional instability and insecurity and that's why they're doing what they're doing um, and they're lying they're lying all the time and you know people it's amazing that they have these devices where they could look up anything they want to look up they could do unlimited amounts of research and be able to you know you know figure figure out pretty quick like that these people they look up to are totally full of shit um, and they don't practice anything they preach, but they won't do it because they need a hero. They need somebody to to pretend, you know, to idolize and, you know, oh, this person is so inspiring. And it's, it's so funny to me, like, all these dudes that are acting like they're so, like, trad and alpha and they're all homosexuals. I mean, I think that I would trust a homosexual that can admit that they're homosexual way more than I would trust somebody that swears up and down that that's a really sinful lifestyle and they act just like a woman online. So, um, anyway, we're not going to name names. We're just going to let you figure out who we're talking about. Okay, um, <laughs> we're just going to, we're just going to let you guess. Okay, um, uh, but <laughs> anyway... All this holy bread. I wish I could feed it to vortex. Maybe the maybe the vortex would be would be uh, more holy if, if you ate the body of Jesus Christ. I don't take this lightly, by the way. But if I seem like I am. have a really bad habit of like chewing with my mouth open sorry it takes me a while <laughs> I'm a slow eater I'm trying to savor it But yeah, if it seems like I'm, like, talking about things very nonchalantly, well, first of all, that's just the way that I talk, okay? I don't really follow the guidelines of society because society is stupid. And votes for child rapists, okay? Um, so, um, yeah, I don't trust society on anything. But, um, yeah, I talk about things very nonchalantly. But I, I do take my religion very seriously. But at the same time, like, I almost feel like to take it too seriously is, like, kind of demonic, you know? Because it, it's like when you're obsessing about something and, you know, trying to be perfect and trying to, you know, like, impress God or 
you know, that's silly. It's so silly. Like, I fuck up in choir all the time. And, and, and so do, so do the, the other choir members. And, um, what's really cool though, um, we had, uh, this one, uh, choir director who came from, uh, one of the, uh, parishes in Nashville. And, uh, he's actually, a, a, a Orthodox, um, like an orthodox songwriter or whatever like he composes like orthodox hymns which i think is really cool that like, we actually sing one of them um and uh he was saying that our choir is really unique in that we don't apologize for for messing up we just keep going now I'm really, really glad that I joined the Orthodox Church when I did. I'm really glad that I, I've done everything when I've done the things that I've done because it's like, you know, I don't think I could handle it. Like, I don't think that my little pea brain would have been ready for what the Orthodox had to offer me a long time ago. Just like, you know, I don't think that I would have been ready to do stand-up comedy before I turned 30. I, I don't think that, um, like back when people told me to do YouTube, you know, I, I wasn't confident enough to do YouTube and I wasn't confident enough to put myself out there and I didn't have enough self-knowledge and I didn't have enough life experience to really be, um, you know, in the position where I should be like explaining things or representing my life or representing like anything that I believe in, you know, unfortunately we, we don't live in a society that's very aware of itself. And so you have all these people on the internet that have no idea what they're talking about or they don't have any life experience and they're trying to influence people. And that's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Like, you know, uh, social media influencers, I think about like drug dealers. So, like, say you were, like, a drug dealer, but your drugs, like, sucked, and they didn't even get you high. That's what most of these social media influencers <laughs> are doing. <laughs> They're just giving you shitty drugs that, like, don't do anything for you. But you keep going back for more, you know? Does that make sense to y'all? We can use drugs to explain everything, all right? But, but, yeah, um... I do take my religion seriously, but I, I try not to be too much of a tight ass about it because I don't want to be like, you know, the people that ruin religion, the people that, well, they ruin everything, don't they? Because, you know, in my humble opinion, I don't, I don't think that they actually believe any of that because if they did, they wouldn't be such an asshole about it because they would know being an asshole doesn't really motivate people to want that. <laughs> so... <laughs> I would rather, like, be the best example of God's love. I would rather be the best example of what my salvation has offered me in my life than come down on people for not living the way that I think they should live. And, and who am I to say that you're living your life wrong? I mean, I don't have to be you. I don't have to wake up every day and, you know, have your experience. So who am I to tell you that the way that you're handling your experience is wrong? You know, I mean, yeah, there are things that we talk about a lot, you know, I mean, y'all know my feelings on technology. I absolutely hate it. I think it's terrible. I think that it's destroyed society, but at the same time, it's like the kinds of people that are doing this all the time that can't look up for two fucking seconds. You know, those are the types of people, like if they're going to be that taken in by technology it's like they would be taken in by a magazine they would be taken in by you know a video game or you know anything it's like it doesn't matter what it is like it's not it's not technology that's that's ruined society like as much as I blame technology it's it's not necessarily technology's fault it's not 
Steve Jobs is not responsible for you being addicted to the iPhone. Yeah, he created it, and yeah, I think he's burning in hell. I do, I do think that, but I don't know that. I'm not in hell, at least not anymore. I don't drink anymore. But, um, yeah, like, he's not responsible for you, like, constantly having that phone in your hand. You know, you're responsible for that. And so, you know, people make their, cho their choices. And I think that we need to acknowledge something called personal responsibility. And it's, it's easy to, to see that, you know, people are brought into a world that is total trash and you're being encouraged to participate in drama. You're being encouraged to, you know, engage in behaviors that are not good for you. Um, but that's still your choice, you know? So just because you have a sexual thought, you know, like, like if I see a woman and I'm really attracted to her, like that, that doesn't mean that I have to act on that. And so it's like that thought is still there, but I don't need to chase that thought. And th I mean, that's true of anything. So that's not just, you know, sinful things. I mean, that, that's true of good things. You know, like, I, I can choose to chase positive thoughts or I can choose to chase negative thoughts. And I can choose to do things that are really terrible for me. And if I go, if I decide to do that, then I'm probably, you know, at risk for going down a really terrible path because it's very, very difficult to just do one bad thing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Satan wants it all, okay? <laughs> he doesn't want you to just do that one little dance with him. He, he wants you to be, he wants you to be dancing the whole time, you know? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying though? I think you know what I'm saying. But it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to shut up. Bye-bye.